actor, director, teacher mm -hmm. extraordinaire, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think very. The answer is very. Um, I think uh, having a sense of humor in general helps to make you a well-rounded person. Mm -hmm. I find that people who don't have a developed sense of humor uh, probably have bad politics. I come from a funny family anyway. So I do know from sitting around a table or sitting in a living room and being able to crack a joke, it gets you positive attention and when you can go into the world and get attention especially in a positive way because there are as we know negative ways of getting attention uh, but I think that definitely does build your esteem to know that you can make people laugh that you can win people over in meetings in uh, different rooms and you know the more you take that ball and run with it the more you can start making bigger and braver choices too I think that does help uh, make you a, a, a bolder stronger more confident person in life Yeah, I think I think both. Um, as long as you have you know a willingness to take yourself less and less seriously, if you have that as the foundation, then somebody can help you know uh, teach you to be uh, you know more open. Because that's really what it's about. You know, everybody's got a different perspective on what's funny. We all have a different sense of humor. Humor is extremely subjective. If, if someone's willing, then a good teacher of any kind therapist, you know, all kinds, or even just a good friend or family can help draw that out of you and you can, you can practice that until it becomes a more refined skill, I think. <laughs> uh, I, people's poor eyesight, uh, ignorance of others, <laughs> no, uh, you know, maybe just because I don't project it, I, I don't really think about it, I don't actively, consciously think of myself as small, and I'm not, you know, it's ridiculously tiny, but I am, I think, smaller than than most people realize or assume on a day-to-day -day basis, and, and I see that manifest itself when I'm given gifts of clothing. <laughs> but I do have to tell you a funny story along these lines. I was trying to pull into a parking space, it was a very narrow parking lot, um, but deep. And there was only one space open, and I'd already pulled off a busy street to pull in, so I was mostly in, which you kind of have to before you can see if there's anything available. There's this uh, woman in a big SUV on her cell phone pulling out. She backed out of her parking space and stopped right there as I was pulling in. So there was, you know, one of us had to give for anything to happen, for her to either leave or for me to park. And I, and I tried to ask nicely, you know, we're doing that negotiating through the windshield. I was like, can you please back up? and then I can pull in, and then you can pull out. Yeah. If I back up, I'm backing up into oncoming traffic. While I was doing that, she just kind of averted her gaze and got on the phone, and I kind of took a moment, and I went, well, <laughs> and I just waited for her to look at me again, because I was like, one of us has got to do something somewhere. Uh, and she looked at me again, and she just went like that. Like, shoo, get out of my way. And she was on her cell phone and more focused on that than trying to resolve with me, who was right in front of her. Anyway, so I just went, fine, the path of least resistance, and I backed out. I'm walking on the sidewalk, but she's stopped at a light, because, you know, of course she's getting nowhere fast for all of that. She rolls down her window and she goes, of course you're short. <laughs> My reaction was, who is she talking to? <laughs> it took me a couple of seconds to realize, I was like, that... It was uh, it was completely incongruous to me. Yeah. Now somebody else. Now there's a third short person involved. I don't think I have a small approach to living my life, so I guess maybe other people don't think I'm tiny. I think we teach people in our lives how to treat us.